This will be a speed test between the iPhone 11 Pro Max versus the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Now the iPhone 11 Pro Max, this one has the A13 Bionic chip, 4 gigs of RAM, iOS 13, as you can see in this midnight green colorway. Let the light hit it right there. Looks very nice. I am digging this colorway. Matte finish. I like the way that looks. However, let me know in the comments below what you think about that triple camera array right there. I don't know, man. I have mixed feelings about just the aesthetics of that, but let me know in the comments. iPhone 11 Pro Max versus Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Now this one is the Snapdragon 855 variant. So not the Exynos, but the Snapdragon 855. This one has eight gigs of RAM on Android 9, its latest version of the One UI overlay. And this one is the ceramic white version and I'm gonna flip the phone over real quick and you're gonna see that the white stone dome glass screen protector on here is cracked. I did some durability tests on this, drop tests, etc. If you wanna see those videos, I'll put it up in the cards and, and also a link down below in the description. But yeah, on a side note, very impressed with the durability of the ceramic version of the S10 Plus. So if you're rough on your phones, Get the ceramic version of the S10 Plus if you're still looking for this phone in late 2019. In a way, go ahead and turn on both at the same time. Just gonna see which one has the uh, faster boot up here. And let's go. All right, S10 Plus went on first. Let's see if it'll boot up first here, if it'll finish the boot up faster. Will the 11 Pro catch up? Apple versus Samsung here. Oh, oh I'm gonna have to give the win to the S10 Plus on that one. So let's go ahead and swipe over here to the, to the right here. And then let's see, as you can see, nothing in the background on both. Everything has been cleared, so you can see. So let's get started by tapping the phone app. Oh, maybe the iPhone on that one. This one, messages, about the same on that. And then the camera, we'll go ahead and just do it like this. So you can see the viewfinder. Let's go right now. Ooh, 11 Pro on that one. So you can see, let's go ahead and click on this one. And then let's go ahead and start the stopwatch. Leave that running. Internet. All right, what website should I look for? Let's go GSM Arena. And let's see, can I click on this one? It'll take me to the site directly. And let's just check it out. And a little bit faster on the left, I think, on the iPhone. Scroll through this. And I don't know, on Android, I said this in my other video, the scrolling on this is just hella fast. Whereas on Safari, I guess it's fast too, but I don't know, it's like, can't, it's kind of weird. I kind of like the scrolling on Android better for some reason. We'll go ahead and click on that. Actually, let's go back. What I meant to click on was the desktop version. Right, and then let's go. And about the same. Couldn't really tell. Pinch to zoom on both. Nice and fast. So web browsing shouldn't be an issue on both devices. As you can see, we'll open this one. About the same on the calculator. Play Store App Store. All right, about the same. We'll do a search for my favorite app, as some of you may know. And then I'm gonna click on it. And then install, nah, leave it there. Leave it hanging. Amazon, a little bit faster on the right on that one. Let's see, let's check out the deal of the day real quick so you can see. We'll just leave it there. Next up we have eBay. 
there you go. Actually, I looked away for a second. Couldn't really tell which one was first on that one. <laughs> Similar performance thus far. Get into some games here. Mario Run. Loading on both. Oh, I think that was actually the S10 Plus. Real quick. But the iPhone, actually a little bit faster when the game is actually running. We'll check this one out. Temple Run 2, Lost Jungle. Oh, and give the win to the S10 Plus on this one. So you can see. And then next game, Angry Birds 2. Starting up and logging in on both. 11 Pro is ahead. S10 catch up? Nope. We'll give the win to the iPhone on this one. Just so you can see. And then we do have this. Asphalt 9. And then iPhone's ahead, I guess. Oh! Give the win to the S10 Plus. And then get rid of that. Whoops. And then, of course, we gotta try out the PUBG, right? PUBG Mobile. Looks like the iPhone's out in front here, loading already on the uh, 11 Pro. And we'll give the win to the iPhone on this, as you can see. Yeah, on the PUBG, I've noticed it's always iPhone winning that game for the most part, Photoshop Express. And again, a little bit faster on the left. Let's see, we'll click on this one. This is an 8K image I have on both phones. And then let's see, what do we got? Let's choose, okay, I'm gonna choose Vibrant on both. Jack this filter up all the way, so you can see. And then I'm gonna export on both. A little bit faster on the S10 on that particular step. Save to camera roll, save to gallery. We'll see which one does it faster. Go. Ooh, a little bit faster on the iPhone. And S10 is finished. Last row of apps. Twitter. S10 Plus. Instagram. Ooh, that was a close one. Couldn't really tell. WhatsApp. Thai. Snapchat. Ooh, very close. All right, let's take a look at the multitasking of both phones, RAM management. So you can see everything's in the background. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run through these apps again. And let's just see what happens here. See if there's any reloads or stutters or anything of that sort. And then nice and fast so far on both. Not seeing any stutters yet. Nice. Both phones are, wait, my bad. <laughs> Both phones are going through this like a champ. Oh, a little bit of a, little, tiny bit of a lag on the S10 Plus, but nothing too serious. And then the uh, Temple Run 2, good to go on both. Mario Run, Mario Time on both. And then, whoops, eBay's next. There we go, a little bit of a stutter there on the S10 Plus again, but nothing too bad. Play Store and App Store. Calculator, nice and fast, as you can see. So as you can see, both these phones are just going through this test without a hitch. And then the camera, do it like this. Ooh, a little bit faster on the S10, nice. Messages. Identical, and the phone app. Boom. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about this classic matchup between Apple and Samsung. Are you an Apple iSheep rocking your brand spanking new iPhone 11, 11 Pro, or 11 Pro Max? If you have an iPhone 10s, 10s Max, or a 10R, are you gonna go ahead and make the switch to this phone. If you have an older iPhone, iPhone 7, iPhone 8, original iPhone 10, are you guys gonna make the switch to the 11 Pro Max or the 11 
or just the 11 Pro. My fellow Samsung Knights, do you have yourself the Samsung Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus? So you can see this phone now is about six months old. It's keeping up well with the latest flagship from Apple with an A13 Bionic. S10 is still a very capable device in late 2019. No need to upgrade necessarily to the Note 10 unless if you want the S Pen, etc. So let me know what you thought about this matchup in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.